you doing this evening? I'm out on my nightly bike ride. I just found this amazing looking gazebo in the area where I live. It goes to show you, you can live in a place for a long time and you don't get to see everything that's there. It's just a wonderful place. It's, <laughs> there's another fountain back here. There's a whole lake. Evidently people used to love to go fishing here, so they had to be forced to put up signs to put an end to that. But just a beautiful looking area actually less than two or three blocks away from where I live so I am embarrassed and amazed <laughs> because I didn't think it was this nice back here anywho getting to today's story was an excellent day uh, very productive no problems at work really went smooth uh, got a lot of things done on all fronts, on my work front, on my personal front, on my creative front. I uh, have all the arrangements done and made for the uh, trip to Texas, all the accommodations booked, uh, actually getting some new equipment, I hope, in time for that. I ordered some things, uh, little things, uh, camera stands and tripods and accessories, I guess you would say, but definitely makes life a lot easier when you have all those accessories. Anyway, I'm psyched. That's about uh, four weeks away. We'll be going out there. But tomorrow night, I'm actually going to be going to that location that I went to over the weekend that failed and fell through and see if I can get that work done. Even though I've been losing a lot of sunlight early this week, uh, it's usually, usually dark. It doesn't get dark until after 8.30, almost 9 o'clock. We're going to be losing light right around 8 o'clock. So... The camera I have isn't the best for low-level lighting, but I do want to get some night lighting, so I'm going to bring a few things with me, see if I can do a few <laughs> home guerrilla tactic lighting set setups and see if I can fake it with that. Oh yeah, the project. I'm going full guns tomorrow. Gonna get it done, giving myself three hours, a little less time than I did last time, but it's a uh, Thursday evening, it's gonna be busy down there, and I'm gonna really have to pick my spots where I'll be able to get the dialogue in, but I think it's gonna come out really well. And then Saturday afternoon, I'm headed back out to another location I had in mind for another shoot I wanted to do. So um, it's a busy, busy weekend planned. Like I said, accessories coming in, batteries, SD cards, uh, lights, uh, a few things that make the background and everything work out just that much better. It makes, makes filming all that much easier. So I'm keeping my fingers crossed because if it doesn't get here, then it's going to be the old gorilla. I got one battery, one charging, another one in my back pocket, uh, limited SD card space. I really have to pick and choose dialogue and shots. Can't just roll footage and enjoy myself and have a good time. Sun's really coming up on me. <laughs> I'm headed into the horizon at the moment, getting my evening workout done. And then, uh, like I said, Saturday is a big, big day. It's going to be an outside shoot. It's going to be about 10 hours. I uh, actually have my wife coming to help me out and make things a little easier on me. And I'm just going to spend the day out there, too, and enjoy it, just like you do when you're supposed to be traveling and having fun, right? So you can get all that done. And then so happy that we're almost at the end of the week because it's just been... A ripshaw crazy type week at work and I'm looking forward to getting back to what I want to do. I actually was thinking about a uh, child's book that I wanted to write many many years ago when my children were small but was dedicating most of my time to work and working uh, thinking of the future and just put aside those kind of ambitions and even people say try to find a minute here or there every minute I found I just wanted to spend playing with my kids. So I'm a big kid myself in a way. It's part of why I do this. I think it helps me feel like a kid some more. It doesn't lose that lose touch with what people are doing currently. I hate to just drift away and be old and give in to that. So I was actually brought that idea up again and uh, a lot of people encouraged me to follow that. It was a good story. It was interesting. It's actually more current now than it was when I first came up with it. It really shares a good moral and it's pretty fun twist in it 
So I actually have the entire idea laid out. I've just never gone forward with sitting down and actually putting pen to paper and getting that done. So I believe that's going to be my next goal. After I shoot these two videos this weekend, I think I'm going to start a list. And on that list, I'm going to put the creative video things I want to do and the creative writing things I want to do and maybe creative voice work I would like to do in the future if that was ever possible. But I'm getting torn up with the little gnats. You probably can't see it. So I'm going to move and catch up with a little more of this in a bit. Spot for you, buddy. All right. Looks like we're here at the end of the ride again. It's a good night. Got three and a half miles in. Feeling good about it. Did a lot of eating before I came out, so I actually definitely needed it. Oh, let's see. That looks a little better. Yep. So, went over. Going to shoot tomorrow night. Going to shoot Saturday. Going to get busy on getting creative with uh, some ideas. Ideas. I slip into some southern sometimes, even though I'm from the northeast. In general, I'm feeling pretty good about all this. It started out as a hobby, and it's really become more therapy than hobby, and both hobby and therapy. I'm, I'm liking it. I'm feeling like I used to feel many, many years ago when I had encouragement to do the creative things I wanted to do. I'm not going to give up on it. I'm just going to keep with the struggle, man, if you know what I mean. Um, just try to embrace everything that comes my way. Yeah, it's, it's funny, but always worried about being tired and getting up and not feeling, you know, like you have enough energy. But I've been working myself into that. I've been up at night editing and finding music and editing music and putting my videos together and posting my videos and uploading my videos and just doing the things that all the other real creators do. And I'm tired. I'm up late, 2 a.m., you know, when I should be in bed many hours earlier. But I get up tired, but it feels good. It's a good feeling tired. It's a productive tired. You know, it's way different. It's, it's not like when you're tired and non-productive and you just feel like everything is overwhelming you. It's, it's tired for a reason. It's, it's a really good reason. You know, it feeds the soul. Anyway, I'm rambling on. Let me know what you think. Comment, like, subscribe. I hope you subscribe. I definitely could use a bunch more. Love you. Have a great evening.